Hello and welcome to our CAD clip series on uh, dormer roofs, uh, dormers and dormer openings and uh, this is more or less what we're going to build over the next few lessons and once you have that built you can copy that and move it around as one unit and it'll retain the dormer opening inside so what we've got here is we've got the dormer roof we create and we join it to the main roof okay then we draw these three dormer walls okay and we attach the top of those walls to this roof and we attach the bottom of these three walls to this roof. Then we use the dormer opening tool that actually cuts the hole in the um, in this roof and you'll notice it makes horizontal cuts as well as vertical cuts and it uses both this roof and these walls to um, automate that opening um, those opening edges which have to be a closed polygon. So once we have that built, for instance, I can go to my 3D view and go to a orthogonal view here and I'm just going to do a big window box and grab the walls and all that for that dormer. Okay, you can select it any way you want. Once that's in there, okay, I can use my shift arrow key and I can nudge that, you know, move it over. Okay, put it wherever I want, it, center it right between those two windows on the main floor. Shift middle mouse and of course it's moved the uh, the opening as well because it's just it's not grouped or anything it's just a selected object now I could go back to here for instance and say okay good now maybe I'm gonna copy that so I'm gonna do another big window box grab it and say copy and I should probably have some reference lines or grid lines in there but probably center it right there between those other windows Use my arrow key to nudge it over, fine tune it, click out, shift middle mouse, okay, you've got two beautiful dormers in there. And if I was to say take this wall and move it, it's going to update. Now it's gone too high and it's no longer clipping on there. I moved that a little bit too far. Um, what I should do is just grab that and then use my arrow key and nudge it. Okay. As you see I'm gonna use my I'll make it more narrow okay by just nudging it over and it's dropping the roof and it's also reconfiguring the opening for the dormer now I can grab that window and just kind of nudge it over and of course I'm I'm just using my arrow key nudges now that's no longer symmetrical but just as an example okay you can just grab I could grab the front wall as well and using my tab button there it is, click, go to a side view here and start to pull that wall forward and what it's going to do is it's going to pull the roof forward and it's going to reconfigure the opening underneath so everything kind of parametrically talking with each other and I'm not using any dimensional constraints I could have the window automatically center and all kinds of wonderful stuff by aligning and stuff like that but for the most part as an independent roof and three walls and a dormer opening works quite nicely so come on back and uh, we'll start this little project off from scratch 